today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to go from good to great in Madden 18. Uh, but before I want to, uh, before we get into that, I want to do something really quick for all of you guys that are uh, longtime subscribers, longtime members, and if you're a premium member, this is really important that you hear this. Um, I have been really, really, really busy with work, and so because of that, I haven't been able to produce content at the level that I should be able to, and I just wanted to let you know that that is not going to continue to be the case. Content will be coming very consistently from this day forward. Uh, you should expect two videos per day on my YouTube channel, and then you should also expect one video per week in the premium membership. So if you're a premium member, the video should be going to your inbox tomorrow. So be sure to check your email inbox for that. And if you're not a premium member, really quick, let me just explain what it is. You get, um, you, you pay a, a fee and you get uh, two ebooks right now that are out. And then I'm going to be releasing four more over the course of the season. You get those. You also get a one hour update video every single week that basically maps out things that I'm doing, updates that I'm making, changes and things like that. So what we're getting ready to put out for these guys tomorrow is a video on the nickel 335 wide or the nickel 335 odd and the gun empty bunch. You're going to get two updates this week because I've been a little bit uh, I've been a little bit late in the last couple of of weeks getting the you know videos out to you. So I just wanted to get you that. Anyways, guys, let's talk about how to go from good to great, something I'm really passionate about. If you guys watched the Madden Classic, you saw um, a lot of good, solid players. But one of the things that I I think is really important to recognize is you see the same players every season. You always, normally, if a player normally consistently in Madden, you see people that are normally able to be pretty consistent with their uh, winning percentage and things like that. And so... Um, what I've learned from that and what that should talk to us and tell us about it is that there is a system, there is a template that you can use to get to that level. And I wanted to break it down a couple of things that just a couple of bullet points that will help you um, develop your own system in Madden 18. The first thing is you need to have a plan for your time in Madden 18. So you need to know, okay, I'm going to log on to Madden. But what a lot of people do is they just log on and they just kind of fr fl fritter away their time. They get on Mutt, they check the leaderboard, they check this, they check that, they research this, they watch this video. There's not really a set plan for their time. And what I've learned is that that is one of the most important things that you can do is have a set plan for how you're going to spend your time um, on Madden really really important um, if you guys want to be really really good okay so again have a plan what well, here's my plan basically I log on I um, I go into practice mode I click on random play for the defense and my run through my offensive plays a couple of plays that I've pre-selected that I'm pretty much knowing these are the plays that I want to use and these are the plays that are probably going to use in the game so that's what I do and then from there um, then I log on I play one game um, on a head-to-head -head match, and then I just start playing from there. And normally I play, you know, two, three games or however long, whatever my schedule allows. But but anyways, that's kind of my system. So you need to have some kind of plan. And you really need to have some kind of plan for everything. You need to have a plan for how you're going to read the defense. My opinion, you need to have a, a plan for how you're going to find plays. Um, my plan for finding plays is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. But basically what I try to do is I try to find plays that work well together. I try to only win one formation. Um, normally it's going to be a, a playbook that I can run and pass out of. You know, those are things that I look for. And so I look for those kind of critical bullet point things in a play when I'm selecting. So there's a system to it. And the big picture here, guys, is again, you just need to have a system for everything. You know, defensively, how are you going to find a blitz? What is your process? What is your process for um, kicking field goals on extra points? What's your process for kicking off? You know, everything, there should be some type of system that you can look to cause, and you've templated it out because in all reality, this is why it's really important, you default to your habits. You default to your habits. And so the habits that you create um, when you're playing this game are the habits that you're going to enact uh, over the course of the season, over the course of a competitive match. So uh, with that, you know, it's just really, really important to develop a system. And I think that's the number one thing you can do 
to go from good to great. So I just wanted to leave you with that for today. Real quick video here. I just wanted to get this out, um, and I wanted to quickly apologize to you guys uh, with my uh, for for my schedule being a little bit busier this season than I would have liked it to be. Um, at the start, but it should be clearing up and we should be cranking out some content for you. So if you're new, I know I didn't talk to you much in this video, but please, uh, please, please leave me a comment in the uh, comment section uh, because I would really like to meet you. My name's Cody, by the way, if you don't know, and uh, you can you can hit me up in the comments and we can talk there. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys.